Well guys, it's about that time. I think I'm gonna start and just completely redo the wiring on the straight rod. I already have a fuse box in there. I've been putting this off way too long. So I'm just gonna dive right into it. So this is what we're looking at right here. You can see we got the fuse box. I have the main power wire going into it. I think I'm running like one thing off of it. I wanna say I'm running the ignition switch off of it, but everything else is not ran through the fuse box. It's just wired. A little fuzzy under there as you can see it's ran through this hole in the firewall no rubber grommets just just done incorrectly it looks like trash and i want it fixed this is a shifting rod right here for the transmission still don't have the transmission back yet but we did just get a manual valve body we got a hughes performance manual valve body the one that we got from dad wasn't gonna work so we got the manual valve body coming we also have a new shifter on the way I'm gonna probably mount the shifter somewhere right here. It was a cool idea right here, but as you can see, there's barely, there's not even two finger rooms. And I always hit my hand when I'm turning and I, I can't stand that. So probably put a switch panel right there so we can cover up my silly hole that I put there. And we're gonna put the shifter about right here. But for now, I'm gonna tackle this wiring. There's not a whole lot to be done since it's a carbureted small block, but there is some wires that need done. Still got the original blower motor from a 1940s truck, and it still works, believe it or not. It's kind of cool. This is the little vent up here. Kind of see it. It's a little sticky, but a little people call that the AC vent. It's kind of cool. Still works. Only thing that doesn't work is the windshield. The windshield used to have like a little hand crank, but that doesn't work. The, this works. That's kind of cool. Needs oiled up. I should make a glue box for this thing too because it just kind of goes up to nothing. But anyway, I'm going to get to work on uh, rewiring this thing. clean than she was if you look at my past videos you can see how much of a rat's nest this was we got this relay right here is for the fans we have this uh, these two are power wires which go straight to the starter as well as this one this one is right here the alternator wire one of these is the main power wire to the fuse box and then one is the main power wire to that relay for the fans. So the fans have their own separate relay. So all these are main power wires and they're all gonna go to the starter. Don't worry, battery's unplugged. So those go to the starter. It'll be all tight and stuff. This is the uh, accessory wire, not accessory wire. This is a wire that triggers a relay to power the fans. So this needs to go to ignition. This is, fuel pump wire so this needs to also be triggered by the ignition and this wire back here is a coil wire which is the legit ignition wire to make this thing run it goes all the way up there into that coil so that's what that wire so these all need to go to the ignition but I really don't want to put all of these on my ignition switch so I think I'm gonna get a relay and have these go to a relay, something like that. As you can see, this fuel pump wire, it gets routed with this fuel line all the way back to the fuel pump. And I don't want this wire anywhere near the fuel line. So I'm gonna make sure that is away, on the, uh, away from this line on the back over there. But 
that's about all we have for wiring over here but i'm kind of waiting on some connectors i want the big eyelets to go onto the starter and i don't have any yellow connectors with the eyelets so i'm just kind of waiting on that stuff let's go inside here inside we got the fuse box right here this is the main power wire to the fuse box that i was talking about earlier we got all these wires cut out which is good still got some uh cutting out for these these are for the headlights still got to figure something out with those because those go to the, the factory 40 1940 truck switch i think we blew that switch um i just don't think that it was meant for that they had six volt back in the day so i think we got to do something different there but this is a fuse fuse panel that we're going to use for everything i want everything to be fused and or relayed so I think all those wires that need the ignition, I'm going to try and run through a relay and through the fuse board, if that makes sense. Everything we need power for is just the ultimate ignition to the coil. We need power to the fans and we need power to the fuel pump. That's essentially all this thing has for power besides headlights, turn signals, all that stuff, which I'm not gonna quite do yet, I need to, but I don't even have lights yet, so. I will wait. We have headlights, so we will probably go a different way. Probably gonna put a switch panel, like I said, up there. So we'll go back to doing stuff like that. Um, but right now we just have a key switch. So just going back and forth, trying to get, just trying to get it to look nice for what we have right now. We'll do uh, lights later on, but for right now, I just want all this stuff done right. I don't want any more wires going through that hole up there as you can see i took them all out i'm going to run them down through here or even put a hole right here at the rubber grommet just uh because this is where all the wires come out of the starter and it's just this is where the wires are there's no reason to run them up and then over you know so i'm going to run them through here and probably put them up tight but i just wanted to show you guys i got it cleaned out and it's really simple uh i will explain how i will uh do this but at least if I ever need to get power for anything, like a stereo or a headlights, I can have all these ran through here. So it is nice that I have this uh, fuse box here. Yo, what's up, kid? Hey, so I am wiring the street rod and I just want to uh, make sure I'm doing it correctly because I want to run it through the fuse box. Um, we had kind of talked earlier and you said, uh, I just want to double check everything's correct, to run, uh, I have three things I need to run off the ignition switch, the fan, the coil, and the fuel pump. And so you said to run relays on each one of those and have the main power wire coming off a different terminal on the fuse box, correct? Well, Hello guys, we're back, working on the street rod, we're going to continue doing wiring on this thing, and pretty excited, got relays, and I got some new parts in, I actually got a new dipstick, because I'll show you here, as you can see, yeah, here you can see right there, completely broke off, it was one of those plastic, uh, stainless steel braided ones so I picked up another one but it, the dipstick tube itself is actually uh, steel so we're all good there that way when we get that transmission back from John we'll be good as far as that goes so that's exciting I think the transmission's almost done John keeps sending me questions about uh, are we using the speedometer are we uh, doing this or doing that so that means that they're working on it super excited can't wait to get that back I got the shifter ordered. I think I told you guys that already as well. But anyway, I'm gonna get to work finishing the wiring. It's been a few days since I was on it, so I gotta go kind of back and see what I did. Um, but I know I got the relays. I got everything to do it correctly now. I got the connectors for that uh, for the main main power wires. So we be good to go there. And uh, I'm gonna just get to work. The first thing I need to do is I have these power wires right here. 
and these all need a correct connector to go on to the starter for the main power. Uh, I have a really nice main power lead coming straight from the battery, so I want to uh, tap off of that. So I'm going to go ahead and get these uh, with the correct connector, and I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of the relays right here for all the other stuff. Three wires on the right side. You can see the main wire going to the top of the fuse panel, and then those three wires right there. I just got those plugged in, so now I'm going to run those to the fuse boxes, or I'm going to run those to the relay boxes, and that is how I'm getting power the correct way. All right, so we got the ignition switch right here. We have our main battery terminal right here. This is your starter terminal, so you're going to run your main power in right here. This is your ignition, so when you turn your key switch on, this is where it gives that power and then this is your starter right here so when you hit the starter this is where the power comes from from here and this is your accessories so when you turn the switch back and all the way back that's your accessories or in between so I'm gonna go ahead and wire this up we have all the relays down there wired up so now I have one starter wire one wire for ignition and one wire for uh, main power battery so pretty simple this is what I wanted to do I wanted to clean up the ignition switch before I had a bunch of wires going to the ignition switch now I only have three wires going to the ignition switch and uh, just a lot more clean all the all the wiring is down there and now I am uh, super clean in here that's nice and clean I got those wires on there they're nice and clean you go ahead and put them inside uh, put the ignition switch inside the hole get that correct um, I'm gonna mount the relays because the relays still aren't mounted hook up a few wires and then see if this thing will fire up, see if I did my job correctly. I'm sure you can see those right there, you can see the markers. I held this up right here and uh, I put a marker on, mark those. I'm going to go ahead and drill those out and then I'm going to use some screws and screw those relays to the firewall. guys have been wiring this thing for like the last three hours um, trying to update you as much as I can but I just also get caught up in just working you know but if I did everything correct I should be able to turn this key and it should fire right up it should fire right up <laughs> no 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 this is just to see how everything works straight to the ignition switch with the relay just so they're on all the time um because with a burnout car you probably just want them on but it is dead <laughs> so let me put this jump box on it real quick and see but that's good everything i did was working i mean besides the running part but everything that worked right there is stuff that i rewired rewired the starter switch uh, the fans, fuel pump, I heard the fuel pump kick on, so 
Everything we are doing is correct. Try three. For some reason it's grounding out through the the throttle cable. I can see the throttle cable glowing red, so that's not good. <laughs> so guys, the whole reason that it was shorting out through that throttle cable is because I don't have a ground going from the engine block to the chassis. It's definitely something that was overlooked building the truck, but the engine is on some polyurethane engine mounts so it's not grounded to the chassis but when i did have the transmission on it it was grounding through the transmission and through the steel cross member that's why we were always getting a ground before but now that the transmission's out of it and at the transmission shop i'm not getting that ground anymore so i will be running a ground strap from the block to the chassis this was about midnight uh, on a work night and I was just getting tired of working on it so I'm going to be putting a ground strap on it and she'll be good to go. I also need a throttle cable because I melted the throttle cable trying to start it. It's getting late tonight, probably done for the night, uh, but as far as rewiring it's it's all done. It's I got it all done, I just got to chase down that short and once that short's done it'll, it'll start. But anyway guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, go and give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. I notice a lot of people that watch my stuff aren't even subscribed yet. Uh, if you subscribe, then you can see when I bring out the latest content that I have. So appreciate you guys watching. Have a good one.